Hello everybody, it's Monday morning, it's time to shave. Well, it's not Monday morning, it's Monday afternoon. I had to wait till that sun moved over there. I'm, I'm sick of those like crazy uh, bright <laughs> sunburn shots that I do during the summertime with this skylight. So today, what am I gonna shave with? Today, I'm gonna shave with um, a cream and an aftershave that uh, friends of the channel sent me, just viewers, not companies, no one trying to sell anything, but they just said, hey, I want to send this to you. And I said, okay, if you want to send me something, I mean, you don't have to, but so many people are so generous and I appreciate it so much. So the shaving cream I'm going to use today came a long way to get to me. It went first, it was, it was purchased in Brazil and then it flew all the way to England and then it was sent to me and here it is. It's a Brazilian shaving cream called Palmindaya. Now, I don't know how to speak Portuguese or pronounce Portuguese correctly, but I'm hoping that Palmindaya is correct. Now this, uh, my buddy Daniel said, I wanna bring you some Brazilian shaving cream or I wanna send you some, but I need to bring it back to England first. <laughs> I said, okay. So this thing is going to be used today. I have not used it, I'm smelling it. It smells like a, uh, like a soap. Smells like a kind of a, not a strong soap, but a soap smell. And then the aftershave was sent by Willie from Nebraska. Thank you, Willie. And this is the Captain's Choice Cat of Nine Tails. Feel the burn. Now he knows that I like the mentholated burn, but this is like cinnamon burn. So I'm a little scared. And this one smells a lot like bay rum to me. So if you ever smelled bay rum, it's like this earthy, rummy, spicy smell. It's a spicy, alcoholic-y smell. <laughs> so, <laughs> do I smell like an alcoholic guy? I hope not. Um, yeah, so this has alcohol, witch hazel, essential oils, and extracts, and glycerin. And it burns, supposedly. I'm a little scared of this. So I got that, and these came inside that package from the uh, Captain's Choice folks. It says, hello, Sinatra. Congratulations, your morning routine just got an upgrade with Captain Aboard, a voyage of discoveries before you. Traditional shaving is a journey. Enjoy the ride. Fair winds, the captain. But this came from Willie from Nebraska. Thank you, Willie and Daniel. And then for the shaving brush, I'm gonna use, I've been using this one a lot now, the one I gave away, the, the kind I gave away, the blue one, the honeycomb one, the, the sea serpent, the uh, synthetic West Coast shaving. And you know what? Because I haven't shaved with it in a long time, I'm bringing old Grandpa Grungy back. Do you even recognize him? I did some cleanup on him. You can still tell that his handle is grungy. I mean, that's as best as it's gonna get. And he looks cleaner than I've seen him in a long time. I mean, I took some time and effort to clean this 1960 fat boy, and uh, it's gonna shave this fat boy right now. All right, took a shower, did my hair, put some hot water up on my face, and then I'm gonna use the Palm and Daya on that synthetic brush and see how well it does. We get the brush wet down here. Get the brush wet and then you kind of shake it out upside down. Now this stuff is a very soft shaving cream. So what I'm gonna do is, now I can't really dip the, the brush down into the container because it's so small. I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna get my pinky, here we go. Use the tools you got, kids. And I'm gonna get that much right now. Let me get some more water on this brush. And I'm gonna smear it around the top, kind of like I do when I uh, use other shaving soaps like this, because you guys know I don't like to, to bowl lather. I don't ever bowl lather, I like to face lather. And uh, it works great for me. You don't have to use a bowl if you don't want to. You can use it if you do like it. And uh, so let's see if that's enough. I don't know if that's enough. Maybe I'll put a little bit more. Palmindaya from Brazil and England, via England, sent here to Texas. All right. I'm kind of smearing the top. It's hard to tell because it's a, a black and white <laughs> uh, synthetic knot brush. All right, put some water on it, kind of sprinkle that up there, and let's see how it does. Ooh. Yeah, so it's got kind of a, a clean, soapy scent. It's a little bit, the scent is a little strong. It's not like Arco shaving stick strong, but it's not as delicate as some other, you know, soapy scented uh, shaving creams. But the thing is lathering, wow, very well. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this brand or not. I know I never had heard of it, Palmindaya. 
And I'm once again, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing it. But this stuff is doing a great job. Wow, look at that. It's like, you know, when, when I do a, a face lather and it like is like white, like a snowman, like a strong, solid white. I know I got myself a good shaving cream. And then what I like to do is gather the excess off the bottom and put it on top for the next pass. That's just my little thing. So Daniel, thank you again for sending this to me. Palm dying, a little tiny. This is great for travel. Well, obviously it's proven itself as a good traveler. All right, we got, I got a feather blade and my fat boy, my 1960 grungy, grandpa grungy. And I'm gonna, I got it on seven. I got the setting on seven. You, all the, the paint is pretty much worn off on, uh, you can barely even see it. I don't know if, I don't think any more paint came off when I was scrubbing, I think it was full of soap scum, which actually allowed me to read the numbers a little bit better. That's why I don't clean this thing. Actually made it harder to read by taking some of the grunge off of it. All right, setting seven, feather blade. Old grandpa grungy. My first, this is my first safety razor right here. This is the one that started it all. I started off with a bang with a, with the fat boy, I think I only paid like 30 bucks for it back in, what was it, 2011? When I started doing these crazy videos? I think so. This is my very first one. And now I've got, how many other fat boys do I have? I have three other fat boys, including one, one of them is one of the gold executive. Which is a 58, if I recall correctly, and then a uh, two 1959s. So I'm covered for fat boys. Yeah, don't need any more. But this Grandpa Grungy generally gives me a few more nicks than my uh, Rockwell. I'm not sure why that is. So we'll see if that's the case today. Yeah, I'm trying to describe the smell of the Palm and Dia shaving cream. And it's hard to describe it beyond like a strong soapy smell, you know? It smells, now I don't know what lye smells like, but it smells like a strong soap, you know? It's like, I feel like I'm repeating myself now. It's all, it smells like soap. Hey, I think it smells like soap. He said it 10 times in the exact same way with slightly different words. <laughs> oh, it's hard without smell vision, you know? But I guess we're all resigned to the fact that we'll never get the promise of smell vision in our own homes. I think we're all resigned to that fact now. All right. I don't have a nick yet. So if I play my cards right. Shave my face right. I'll walk away without any bloodshed. Let's see how that... Oh, see that leaves good slickness, this Palmandaya. That's always important. Like, does it keep your skin moisturized? Does it leave it slick afterwards? And it does. It's slick. So that's good. All right. More hot water on the face. And more Palmandaya on the brush. I bet. Now, Daniel said this has a little bit of menthol in it. I'm not detecting any menthol, but I could be wrong. It could do with a little uh, of my menthol crystals maybe ground up or turned into a, a, a liquid solution and dripped maybe onto the end of the brush. Ooh. I've been kind of getting away from the menthols lately. I kind of hit my plateau, you know, for crazy mentholated stuff and I've uh, kind of like backed off a little bit now. See, I told you I could quit any time. Told you. Told you. <laughs> this is just a good solid razor. Good solid grandpa grungy. Not so grungy anymore. He used to be real green and I would get comments all the time about people want me to, to scrub it and clean it and send it off. But now that I had that one scent off and it changed it a little bit, it made it a little bit more mild, I'm not ever gonna change. I'm not ever gonna send off this one. 
to the fine folks at the Razor Emporium because I want it to leave, I want it to be just the way it was. Just the way I like it. A little bit gross, a little bit green. I'm getting a lot of comments from people that are uh, also catching the Gillette Fat Boy fever, buying them off eBay. Not spending too much money, hopefully. And hopefully when they receive them, they're not bent up and dented and malfunctioning. Buyer beware. I learned that early on watching an episode of the Brady Bunch when I was a kid. Caveat emptor, buyer beware. I think Greg bought something or Peter bought something and it turned out it was a lemon. And Mr. Brady taught us all about be careful of what you buy. He also ta taught us about stay out of his den. Don't go into your father's den. I kind of like that. I kind of want one of those. Stay out of my den, kids. Stay away from my stormtrooper action figures. <laughs> See, Mr. Brady had a good reason for keeping the kids out. He was an architect and he didn't want them messing up his plans. I just don't want my own children to get near my own toys. Is that sad? That's kind of sad. That's kind of sad. 48 year old man with his, with his action figures. It all stems from when I was six years, seven years old and the Star Wars toys came out and we couldn't afford a lot, you know, and uh, I always wanted every single action figure I saw. And now that, you know, I'm grown up, I can buy them myself. And they've been re-releasing them, playing on my nostalgia. Oh man, this is good. Whoa. Whoa, it's even getting that little part right there. Dang, fat grandpa grungy. <laughs> You're All right, one more pass. <laughs> now I tell you what though, the more passes you do, the more this cat and nine tail is going to sting me. So, it's kind of like bay rum with an added cinnamon kick. I don't know. Getting a little nervous. Getting a little nervous. Because I do prefer mint over cinnamon. Now my dad is just the opposite. He has always had like a pack of cinnamon certs in his car at all times. He's the cinnamon guy. Cinnamon guy. I'm a mint guy. There you go. My kid doesn't like mint at all either. <laughs> one does, one doesn't. Okay, I can kind of feel a little bit of a a little bit of a burn already. I don't know if it's my technique. Maybe I'm pressing too hard. I'm gonna kind of cool out though on this last one, but it's gonna make me pay. I'm gonna pay the price for my hubris, my shaving hubris. Oh, me? Shush, I can do as many shaving passes as I want. And then the cat and nine tails. And then the cat and nine tails. All right. Maybe I should chill out and just uh, get this last one over with. Go as light as I can. Look at that, just barely even touching the surface, but getting rid of the soap. Up and across. Direction one, direction seven. Commander Mark in the draw squad. Foreshortening. The right people will get that reference. <laughs> Somebody got the Steve Martin reference from the last one, so that's good. If just one person gets it, if just one person gets it, then I'm satisfied. It's like, oh good, I'm not alone. I remember that too. All right. Yeah, it's me, Mr. Nostalgia, man. Ugh. Started a diet today, kids. So if I'm testy, it's because of that. I always get uh, a little depressed the first day of a diet. I haven't dieted in about a year, and it shows. Go back and look, you see my face expand over the past year. I'm gonna try to curtail that now and get back down to my fighting weight. I don't know what my fighting weight is. <laughs> What's my fighting weight? I just wanna get to the weight where I don't worry the next time I put my jeans on, are they gonna be a little tight? Are they going to be just right? All right. Almost done here. But I'm telling you. Ooh. 
Only the slightest nick. Only the slightest nick. Good. He didn't hold any grudges of being up here in the cabin. He's got a bunch of friends here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got eight other razors to talk to in the cabinet. So, Grandpa Grungy, you did me right today. The cat and nine tails? I don't know. We'll see. Hold on. I'm going to put some cold water, wash off the soap, wash off any lasting whiskers. Mmm. There used to be a couple that watch this, uh, watch my channel that, uh, <laughs> the, the, the towel out of nowhere was always interesting to them. They're like, where does that towel come from? I'll never tell. I've got my secrets. I've got to keep my secrets like a magician. Never give away the trick. All right. Whew. From Willie in Nebraska who wants to punish me for my wrongdoings. This stuff smells like bay rum. So I think it's got a lot of bay rum, but then the added whew, cinnamon. All right, and we're stalling. Oh, it didn't burn. Maybe I did something right. Ooh, wait a minute, there's a, ooh. There's a strange tingle afterward. Ooh, that's the cinnamon. That's different from normal burns, like the Osage burn and the uh, any other alcohol-based burn. Ooh, it's like it didn't burn at first, and now it kind of is, but in a cinnamony way. And I'm picking up more of the cinnamon, like a cinnamon stick at Christmas time. It's like a bay rum, and then a cinnamon stick finish. I am like the sommelier of aftershaves. What the heck? A distinctive note of subtle cinnamon and oak. Wow, but ooh. It's kind of like, oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Willie, you got me, man, you got me. I I, 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 ooh, I feel the burn. It says feel the burn, and I'm feeling it in a weird way that I am not a, fun, uh, not a fan of. <laughs> Thanks for sending it to me anyway, Willie. I'm willing to try almost anything. Wow. It's starting to subside now, but it's all right here. Like a cinnamony burn. Weird, but different from the alcohol burn. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it like a man. Remember when I first did the Osage, I washed my face off like immediately. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I learned my lesson. Just wait, fight through the pain. Take it. All right, is that it? That's it. Oh, I didn't use this today. No Barbasol today, but I did use the Palmandaya from Brazil and the cat and nine tails from Captain's Choice from Daniel and Willie. I appreciate it, guys. Fascinating. This stuff is fantastic. I wish the scent was a little different or some other thing, but uh, I do like it. Oh, it does say mentolado. Mentolado. That means mentholated. But very, very subtle. Very subtle. And this stuff, it's just a dirty trick that was pulled on me, and you guys saw it right here on live television. Willie, I'm coming to Nebraska. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Hey, my dad's from Nebraska. He was born up there. Lincoln, Nebraska. Ah, oh, now see, now it's gone and all I'm getting is the a slight hint of bay rum, which is nice. Ah, well, good. I feel like a better person for having, having done that. And I, I hope that you have learned something today. If not, I tried and, <laughs> and all I got to say to Grandpa Grungy is good job, buddy. Good job. You didn't nick me up. Oh, there's one neck. I spoke too soon. There's a slight nick there. It's no big deal. But you did all right. You did all right. I'm going to shave with you for the next couple of days until Friday just to get you back on the roster. Bench warmer. All right, folks. I think that's it. I don't know what's coming up, um, but we'll find out together on Friday. So have a great week, everybody. And Mike, I'm sending you your brush this week. Congratulations. I have not received word from the second winner of the other brush. So I'm still waiting on him. I can't remember. It was like catching bass, something like that. Uh, go back and look at the video. If you're, if you're watching that and you entered, um, go back and look because I haven't heard from you. So we'll just wait and see. And uh, I'm going to wait for a while and make sure that he gets around to watching the video before I you know, uh, make a decision on that. But anyway, thanks everybody. I will see you all on Friday.